Hello, chemistry students, your tutor Jake here, and today we have an electrophilic aromatic substitution or an EAS synthesis practice problem. So it says identify the reagents represented by the letters A through E in the following scheme. So when we're looking at the first one here, this is going to be one of those named reactions. Okay, this is a Friedel Crafts acylation. Let's write that down. And the reagents that we're going to use for the Friedel Crafts acylation is going to be an acid chloride that's going to have one, two, three carbons. Always, always count your carbons just to double check that you have the right number every time, no exceptions. And the reagent that we're going to use in tandem with this is AlCl3. All right. In the next reaction here, what we're doing is this ketone reduction, okay? When we're doing a ketone reduction, there's really three different things that we potentially could use. The simplest and most straightforward one is probably going to be using palladium, H2, and ethanol. Now, this reaction is one that's going to be specific for now these aryl ketones, one that's right next door to this aromatic ring, okay? You also are going to have to use pretty high temperatures. Normally, when we do this kind of a reaction, so this is our sort of option one, if you will, option number two is going to now be if we used a zinc-mercury amalgam. That's when you use ZnHg with HCl. Okay, that also, that's called the Clemenson reduction, where we reduce this ketone down to the alkane. Now, the third way that we could do this is a Wolf-Kishner reduction. A Wolf-Kishner reduction, if you remember, is when we have this H2N, NH2, and we're actually going to make a hydrozone with this compound. And then in the presence of base and water, this will reduce all the way down to the alkane. Now for reagent C, this is going to be an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction where we have to consider the fact that remember, whenever you have an alkane chain, this is an ortho para director. Whenever you have an ortho para director, you are going to get a combination of products. You will get the ortho product and you will get the para product. Normally, under normal circumstances, without any sort of exceptions with functional groups and things like that, you're normally going to get the para product as the major product here. So in this case, to get a bromine in the para position, we're simply going to use Br2 and FeBr3. Okay. Now, once we have this bromine put on our ring, to put this other bromine now right here in the benzylic position, remember right next door to a aromatic ring is the benzylic position, this one right here. To add a bromine to the benzylic position, what we're going to need to use is a reagent called NBS. If you don't remember what NBS stands for, that's N bromo succinamide. And this is going to now monobrominate the benzylic or allylic positions in a reaction. And you're also going to have to use heat and light to get this to go because this is a radical reaction. Now, the last step is going to be one that's maybe a blast from the past if you're studying OCHEM 2 right now. This is going to be an elimination reaction. To do only elimination reactions, remember the best types of reagents to use are going to be big bulky bases. In this particular case, we only have hydrogens that are going to be right next door to this bromine right here. Because that's the case, we only have one set of hydrogens to worry about, we can use a big bulky base, no problem. Something like potassium tert-butoxide, K-O-T-B-U. All right. And if you aren't familiar with the KOTBU, we could always put the K, positive charge, oxygen, negative charge, 
and this is attached to a terpedal group. All right. Whenever you're thinking about these synthetic uh, strategies, one of the things that I like to do is just take it piece by piece by piece. If you can't figure out maybe what reagent C is, just move on to D. See how many that you can put in there and then just move on to the next one. You can always keep plowing through these and learning as much as you can before you actually look up the answer. All right, keep working hard. This is your tutor, Jake. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions about this down in the comments. All right, we'll see you next time.